Hey guys, and welcome back to Science Wrap. You're probably thinking, Science Wrap, what's that? I, you haven't posted in so long. I'm really sorry about that. In the middle of data collection, so basically been working for about a month straight um, collecting data. So I thought today, as a fun getting back into the swing of things, I would share with you what my postdoctoral project is. And actually, I've just come from a talk at the university that I gave, which was a speed talk outlining all about the project. So without further ado, enjoy. And we'll be back to a regular episode again very soon. Bye. So it's the stuff of movie magic, creatures forged by motion capture technology. But that same technology that's used to create Gollum is also being used to answer some really pertinent questions in science, including how to tell if a cow is in heat. So to understand why motion capture is such a powerful tool for scientific research, you first have to understand what it can actually do. So by placing reflective markers on the body, you can essentially break that body down into its different segments. By then tracking how the position of those markers changes in three-dimensional space, you can really precisely measure movement <coughs> through things like uh, segment rotation, uh, joint angles, or the distance between landmarks. And this whole process is called kinematic analysis. So I work primarily with livestock, who maybe surprisingly make excellent models for kinematic analysis. Most livestock are prey species, whose evolutionary history dictates that they move and communicate in really more subtle ways to avoid being picked on. Add to this then an indoor agricultural system in Canada and an animal's behavioural expression they are further limited. So kinematic analysis of motion capture has already been used with livestock to inform how much space an animal might need um, or look at how their gait changes when they walk on clean or muddy floors or if they're affected by foot problems. But my postdoctoral work uses kinematics in an entirely new way we're characterizing and measuring super subtle micro behaviors to detect when cows in a tie stall environment go into heat. Now there's actually a huge problem in Alberta and the rest of Canada in detecting when cows go into heat. And this is really crucial to know because heat indicates when the cows are ready to ovulate and therefore ready to be bred. And knowing this essentially dictates how productive the farm can be. So poor heat detection rates can cost a single farmer about $26,000 a year, or if you extrapolate that out to Alberta, about $14 million a year. So by motion capturing cows as they approach ovulation, we hope to precisely determine uh, how their body moves in terms of hip rotation, tail movement, and hind limb joint angles. So this is really fundamental research but it lays the groundwork for creating really cool automated farm systems that can detect behavioral changes, not only for heat, but also potentially for health problems of the animals or maybe even the mood of them. What this all comes down to is um, better understanding of individual animals, um, <laughs> uh, happier animals, and more productive farms.